Hey guys, Wrangler here. And today, uh, as I'm sure it's going to be on several other channels, uh, everybody's favorite little Mensa gremlin, and I say failed soft sit, uh, Joshua Lanto, aka Broken System, Broken Trust, you know, and he actually is going to prove his idiocy even further. Uh, but yeah, he's a failed soft sit. The, the list of failures for this, this, I can't say young man, because Jesus Christ, he's better than a half decade older than I am. But the, the list of accolades and accomplishments of failures for this individual is just extensive and mind blowing. Uh, let's see. Marine. Husband, son, brother, employee, friend human being and just a citizen his list of failures is ridiculous and in this one he has another court date and consider this a pretext or a teaser for tonight's live stream because k4 and i have got some really fun things for you tonight but in this one he's going to prove just exactly why he's on a mensa short list he's going to actually object to the judge after his own motion is granted that ought to tell you all you need to know about Josh Elanto. Enjoy, guys. Now, there won't be sound for a few seconds. All right, and blowing smoke in the judge's face is a great way to Joshua start. Joshua Elanto. Mr. Elanto, can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, counsel, you want to put your appearance on record? Looks like Mr. Please. Cooch left the room, Judge. Is he anywhere to be seen? Dude, what is wrong with your eye, man? And of course, he's, I guess this is his way of informing the judge that he is illegally restreaming through his own okay. StreamYard account, uh, this proceeding. Mr. Greco, it's been indicated to me that uh, somebody wants a 30-day adjournment on Mr. Lanto's case for discovery. Is that right? Uh, I wasn't. That's fine with me, Judge, if that's what the request is. Well, quick objection. The, the request was, why don't we just drop this right now? Okay, Mr. Lanto, you understand that you're the one requesting that you be given 30 days to get discovery. It's not the process. Well, the first thing I want to... Okay, you want a trial today? You want a trial today? Well, I mean, I'd be, I'd even be willing to, you know, sign a guilty plea today if um, the court can just produce the factual evidence of jurisdiction. It should be in my file somewhere. Um, you know, I, I was asking... For all right, we're going to stop there. He wants factual evidence of jurisdiction. Only in the mind of a half-assed wannabe sovereign citizen failure would this even be a thing because it doesn't exist. The judge has jurisdiction. The court itself has jurisdiction. The officer that arrested you and cited you had jurisdiction. All right? It's covered. All of this is covered. Sixth, tenth, fourteenth amendments. But you're doing great, man. Just keep pissing off the judge. For the same thing up in the Clarkson courthouse, and they send me to the uh, county jail. Mr. Lanto, Mr. Lanto, Mr. Lanto, I'm not going to produce anything. I don't have to. I'm the judge. And as far as I know, the prosecutor can only produce what he wants to produce to kid back. So we're not doing that. Your attorney's asked for 30 days. Do you want the 30 days or do you want to go to trial today? Well, let's see what the discovery evidence has to say. But uh, first, you know, if they the fir very first thing out of there, if they, they could send the factual evidence of jurisdiction. That would. All right. Let me explain what he's doing, everybody. This is a Joshi technique. It's one of very few that he actually has. What he's trying to do is he's trying to piss off the judge. He's trying to frustrate the judge. In the end, what he's trying to do is he's doing what frauditors do on the street. He is trying to 
create a situation for clicks and views. He's trying to create bullshit so that he can put it on his failing channel to try to garner more viewership. And what's bad is he streamed all of this. And I guarantee you, KFAR, mine, anybody else that does a video on this will absolutely smoke his viewership. And here's the sad thing. He's got almost 20,000 subscribers. But he's just going to keep saying dumb shit and you're about to laugh. It would be great. It should be a one-page document. If the, if the prosecutor filed this, Mr. Mr. Lanto, Mr. Lanto, you're talking crazy. Welcome to I our world, Judge. I you listen to your attorney, okay? I'm going to adjourn this matter on his motion for 30 days. Did you? All right, so now that the judge is going to give him what he wants, see, that's not quick enough. That's just like if a frauditor goes out and audits somewhere, fraud it somewhere, and the people aren't giving him the conflict that they want. They will instigate the conflict, and that's what Joshie's doing here. He knows his bull, his garbage is not going to work. It never has. He knows that he's done, but he's going to still, for some reason, keep trying to garner more clicks and views. He's trying to garner created content or scripted content per his script. You just so, can, can you? I have had had Damn, Joshy, what are you doing behind that dumpster at Wendy's? That's awful. Simon Clerk, Mr. Mr. Lanto, you're not listening. See, that's why you get in trouble, because you like to talk and you think you know it all and you don't listen. <laughs> you have the right to remain <laughs> Yeah, Joshy, you didn't get it calm, cool, and patient and generous Judge Slavin today, did you? <coughs> and then his own lawyer's laughing. I'm going to adjourn your case for 30 days. I'm going to send the matter down to the assignment clerk. She'll send out a notice. The attorney I... will have the discovery that he wants by then, and we can handle your case. Okay? Okay. Well, have you, have you kind of calmed down a little bit? What did he say? So now he's going to start throwing personal shots at the judge because he's got no. nothing. You're all loser, it, seems like you're it seems like you were getting angry. No, Mr. Lanto, you, you uh, can leave the meeting. We'll see you in 30 days or so. Clerk will well, send you a notice want... of the well, I just want the record to show I've, I've asked these same questions in several courts and nobody has said I'm talking crazy. Uh, not on the record, no. But what they have, every one of them told you is that your legal theory, your argument is garbage. Just like you. Oh, yeah. That's the first time somebody said I've been anything but reasonable in a courtroom. Huh. Is it the first That's time amazing. you've told that? Huh, right. <laughs> you're talking like you're, you're talking like you know all about the law and it and it doesn't make any sense to me. Well then let me ask a few questions for clarification. You don't need to ask any questions. We'll we'll deal with it in thirty days, Mr. Lanto. Wait, we can't ask simple logical questions today? Ask your attorney. That's Bill D. And no, no, the judge doesn't, Josh. You have a lawyer. Why don't you let him ask the questions? He, unlike you, knows what he's doing. Because you can keep going if you want to, but eventually it's going to earn you another contempt charge. And guess what? Can't nobody do that time but you. The lawyer won't be responsible. Although I'm sure this attorney at this particular time is probably regretting his entire career choice just because of your little gremlin ass. When you see him. Like I said, I'd be willing to sign the guilty plea and just, you know, be done with this if I just see the factual evidence, jurisdiction number one, and That's then number two. That's asking for discovery. Okay, and then the proof of jurisdiction is going to be in there? Is that, I mean, I'm asking a simple logical question. It's either yes or no. 
Yeah. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Aside from the fact that I am seriously on fire with my Joshi Paul's faces, that had to have been one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. And again, he knows what he's saying is total trash. He's saying it literally so he can make this argument on his 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 trash YouTube channel. And I'm not saying that somebody that has a YouTube channel channel is trash. What I'm saying is, is that his YouTube channel is trash. The the proof is gonna be in there or not. It's I like it's very simple. It's very logical actually. Well let's see. Mr. Lanto, Mr. Lanto, I think maybe you ought to come into court in person next time and your attorney will be here in person and and we can talk about it. Rut row, Shaggy. That's the absolute worst case scenario for Joshi is having to go to court in person. So when you get that letter, well, can I put on there that he's in person? I'm going to indicate to the assignment clerk that I want you here in person. You know where the courthouse is? Well, I feel like I'd be in danger. If I, if, if I came there, I'd be in danger. Yes, but he's not the feelings judge. He's the law judge. The, uh, no, you won't be in any danger. I'll assign a policeman to watch over you. <laughs> Tell him to wear gloves and a mask, Your Honor. Uh, you watch over him when he comes. Absolutely. That is the scariest thing I could ever hear. That or what? Being a good father. And that's coming from a very reasonable person. No, no, you're not. Okay, we'll see you in person in about thirty days, whatever date the assignment clerk gives you, and you come into okay. court, and we'll uh, take care of business. Okay. So what does it mean to take care of business and I got to come in person and you're going to assign a police officer to me and then you said I'm talking crazy. I happen to have one just for that. You are made of stupid. And you are, Josh. I mean, you are literally dumber than a box of rocks. You make Riot Girl Radio look like she's on the short list for NASA. No, I, no, you I just, got it. Did I, did I just recall what was said on the record? Did I just recall that correctly? You said no. You said it in reverse. I said first that you're talking so crazy talk. Then I said I'm going to adjourn it for 30 days. And then I said because you're worried about it that I'd have uh, an officer watch over you while you're in court. We'll see you in 30 days. People versus William Vaughn. Let's do Keep in mind, everybody, all of this started because this dumbass thought that he would try to be YouTube smart and object to his own motion being granted. He was actually, he made, his lawyer made a motion on his behalf to adjourn for an entire month for discovery and something that shouldn't even be still dragging out this long, but that's all because of little Joshy the gremlin here. But when the judge granted his motion, dumbass objected and then went on this sob sit flat earth bullshit ramp. Yes. On here. Yes, sir. I'm Mr. Here. Vaughn, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Counselor, you want to put your... And that's the end of that, guys. So, bye, Joshy. Uh, we'll see you in 30 days. And please stop by the live stream tonight and see what we have for you. We have some very interesting documents from a last hearing you had. And um, I'm sorry you won't be able to chat, though. But, yeah, I don't care. Anyway, guys, I appreciate it. Well, tonight.
I love y'all. It's Wrangler. I'm out of here. Have a good one.